Okay, so I've done uh, full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. <sighs> Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Talo. Pleasure to meet you, Talo. Are you going to hurt me? Listen. Let me do my work and you'll live. Understand? Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now! It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're alright. You're alright. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this kind of ruin my life? Tosa. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay? This will save you and your baby. No. You are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? No. No. Reese. How do I save them? Reese. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit?
Theodora is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. You okay? <sighs> yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> Amy, you'll need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, it really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. Yeah, we were waiting on your word before moving her. A uh, single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash, it's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy.
drunk. Don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Buddies of a renegade. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job? No, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise. I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Nat, I'm going to use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy! Oh, I don't believe this. Gender fluid toilets, new policy. From your assistants down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. 
Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Oh my God, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Better changing facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Going into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. Vacuum conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the plane summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. 
Someone's put them in her. No, 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 no. leave it in, Claire. You need it. Mm, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? Would be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanosols aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. Okay. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just... I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, okay? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's a little rusty. You know what I mean? And don't. Don't go anywhere. Over this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way, it needs to be moved. Re Dr. Wakefield, can you move this crate, please? Fucking assistant. Yeah, I'm working, lad. You do us a favor. Still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella. Dr. North. Dr. North. I'm oh, sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Dr. North? 
Okay, the door stops on me. <gasps> We're gonna save you, okay? Ah, ah, mm. ah, 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 ah
and put us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know, we'd have to ask him ourselves. Yoo-hoo! What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Now that she mentions it. Yeah. 